thought I'd uh, show you the latest firings. I've got an electric firing out here today, and also there's a few pieces um, from the wood firing to show you. Uh, these are the T balls that came out. You can see them. I don't know if I like them or not yet. There's a couple of nice ones, that's a nice one. that I did with a poured glaze, it's black glaze with a poured uh, celadon over the top. Sounds quite some nice, high, highly fired. And that's that one. Gonna have a wooden handle through there, I've not done it yet, so I've just unpacked it. Uh, all very similar those ones there. This one's had a, a celadon tipped down the outside of it. These two here have had um, place sp splashed on out of a squeezy bottle and that's quite nice where the glaze has bled. Gives a nice toast, almost like a wood fired effect. And that's quite nice that. It's got some quite rich areas there. You can see it. Well, that's another one. The problem with this glaze is when it goes thin, it goes sort of creamy and then dull. And I quite like those. Obviously they've got the glaze poured inside. So I might go, I'm going to do a few more of those. Um, right, on to the... Oh, there's another one, just done. This one's a lidded pot. It's got... It's black with the celadon poured down both sides with a wooden handle. I haven't glued it on yet. That's quite nice. Let's see it. It's quite cute. Now on to the uh, wood fire. Just unpack the wood fire. I've put some photos up on uh, Facebook. This one here has got um, a celadon on the inside, but it's an oxidising celadon, so it's got copper in it. And if you can see this here, I'll bring it a bit closer. That's in uh, oxidation. And as we turn it, where the flames hit it, you can see where the flames hit. It's reduced it and brought out the copper reds. So there's something going on all the way around that one. It's got the copper red inside. Okay, that's that one. Quite like that one. That's just got a, a spoon and just poured salad down it. This one here has got my slip underneath. It's quite dark, goes right over the bottom of it. But something here, something's actually dripped off the kiln shelf above it. I don't know if you can see it. So I quite like that. Not a mistake. It's just dripped off the top shelf. And this Temaco that I've got on it is only a low fired Temaco and it went to almost 1297, I think it was, 1293, nearly 1300 degrees. And the Saladin has virtually started to run off the pot and it's left it all clear at the top. But the inside is quite nice, it's sort of hair's fur inside. But as with all pots in a wood fire kiln, you always end up with bits of crap in them. So, pluses and minuses, but that's quite a nice little piece, that. This one here is a slightly bigger tea bowl. I can come a bit closer. 
a lot going off on this here. This is all the, the, the slip from outside the front of the house here. It's got a, a chino painted over the top there. You can see how I've splashed it off. So, one minute. A lot of texture going on. So that's quite a nice piece, that one. Just one minute, Callista wants to get in the game. This is the one I did the video of where I was pouring the glaze over the top, sprinkled iron on it. There's quite a lot going off on this. This is beautiful, this one. You can see where the glaze, as I poured it, it's run underneath and pulled there. This one was fired this way up. Okay, so that's that one. This one here is not a very successful one. All I did with this was just pour the Temaco in drops all down it. What you can see here is where that's a bit of the film shelf. I've propped it in three places and fired it that way up. So although it's quite a nice pattern, it's a bit boring. You know, that's, the, that's the only bit of life on it there. So I don't really like that. So that's a bit of a failure. But this one here is the one I showed for the video with sprinkling the iron on the top. And this one is beautiful. I really like this. So where the, the chinos started to blush pink, where it's all overflowed. That's where I've just sprinkled the iron out the kiln. This bit here is where it was propped on um, little bits of clay fired that way up so we get the blush effect all over the base of it it's got Temaco on the inside so that one's a beauty, I like that one right. but the very best one well I think the very best one is this one This one's almost an anagamma effect on it. It was fired there, you can see, that way up. I sprinkled some of that iron, the iron lumps on it, and it's all run down. There's all sorts of patterns and textures on here. The only drawback is some of the iron has come here and it's flaked off. If you can see that, that where it's broken there. If it wasn't for that, it would be the, probably the best pot I've ever made that. Really, really pleased. The summit going on all the way around, as you can see. I don't know if the video can pick up all these. There's all sort of pink blush effects. There's texture effects where it's run and gathered. There's a big chunk of iron that's all run down. There's the flame effect, there's the ash effect. There's the effect of the three props there when I've stuck it in the kiln. So all in all, that's as close as I've got to being really, really happy with it. So to all the ones I've shown you up to now, this one's my favourite. And if it wasn't for that little tiny dint sticking out of it there, which I suppose is part of the wear and tear of firing in a wood fire kiln. That's lovely. So, hope you enjoyed them.